Hi everyone, this is Flo and today I want to show you this um, ice cold jelly thanks to Lord Locan. This is the version 1.5 based on the Android Jelly Bean version 4.2 just there. Uh, as you can see there we get uh, here, here this SIM uh, code and this is mine. Okay. Uh, then when it's unlocked we get two different launchers. So as you can see there is the uh, launcher this one and the Nova launcher so I will just show you the two different ones just uh, at the start and then I will just show you uh, after that the the uh, complete review with only one launcher so we get on this lock screen just here the jelly bean the lock screen and as you can see we can go to the camera by this way and we get uh, this camera here, remember photo location, you can say yes. Okay, so there is some uh, things broken on this application, on this custom ROM. This is the Wi-Fi, direct Wi-Fi. The in-call volume adjustment works, but not fully uh, well in speaker mode. We also get no FM radio app in this ROM, and there is maybe some more stuff. So we get the pictures uh, taken just here, the focus, we can just switch to the camera here, so we don't uh, keep this fear, but we get the panorama mode here, as you can see, we have to wait, and we can take this picture for camera like, uh, panorama mode, okay, so um, just wait, it doesn't work, as I am hoping, so wait one second, okay. And there we have to press capturing this panorama just here. So we have something where it's not completely working. Um, then we get this uh, this launcher and the Nova launcher just here, as you can see. This is the Nova launcher. I will just use this one uh, for always during this presentation. On the lock screen, you can also add. By this way, different widgets as the AOKP clock, the analog clock, the calendar, the uh, different Cronus. This is what, as you see here, uh, you can switch with different ones by this way. You can unlock just using it like that. You have also the possibility to switch with different uh, other things. I don't know where digital clock and messaging just there. Okay, we get the different things so for example the messages I would just remove it okay delete it and you get those messages okay you have the different conversations you can create a new message with this keyboard you have the ATH files just there you also to flash VG apps I haven't done that but you can just uh, flash it to get the Play Store and other uh, Google apps as the Gmail and others okay you have the brightness level just here. You can see um, there, okay, so we get the different uh, apps here, for example, the network, just there. It's uh, completely working with this, uh, with this one, for example. We can go on this Google website. We have also the contacts, the JLR here, with the recent call and the other contacts. There we get the apps with different widgets. We have a lot of things to do uh, just on the ROM control. Okay, so let's go on the status notification bar. We get the owner, the brightness, the settings, and this is the different toggles, but, and we can switch it. We have just to press this button to go to uh, the notifications or the different toggles. When you press the date, you go to the different date. We can also switch it with the ROM control. So let's go to settings and ROM control to discover everything about this ROM. On the interface, we get the general user interface uh, customing things. You can custom the boot animation if you get on your uh, on your phone the different zip just with the boot animation. You can also disable it just like that. Okay, you can grant it. Okay. You have also the custom carrier label that you can just add there, for example, flow. You get this custom carrier label uh, on the notification, choose notification background. Okay, so you get it just there, as you can see here, but not on the owner infos, just here, just on the notifications. 
Also, you get the notification background. You can go to the gallery and keep different pictures. So, for example, let's go to uh, this one and keep it there just okay for the background of the status bar notification as previously on the previous version. Okay, saving pictures. Okay, just here. We also get the notification background alpha. You can switch it. And we can just go there, we have the status bar notification, and we can see that here we get the background on the status bar notification. You can switch the background alpha like that, just use it, wait one second, and use it, and you can see the different background level. You can show notification count just there, you can vibrate and expand, user, uh, it requires the user interface restored. You have the status bar brightness slider just to, oh, okay, sorry, it's just to uh, switch the brightness just by this way. Okay, so just like that, as you can see here. You have also the status bar and navigation bar opacity, so just there. You can go back and you have no any uh, thing. Where can we see that? We can see that just there, but maybe with another uh, background. Just press long and select uh, swag, work, swag papers. So, on retrieving wallpapers from the server, select, for example, um, not black one, this one could be okay, and set as wallpaper. I will just uh, okay remove it. Okay, setting wallpaper. The wallpaper is set, and you can see there is uh, no background level for the notifications. Uh, okay, so that was on the um, settings. We get the general user interface. So that was the status bar and navigation bar opacity. Just there, as you can see, I've switched it. Then we get on the general user interface, the enable kill all button on the north bar, the recent RAM bar, the user interface mode, we can switch from nav bar to side uh, in landscape or tablet combinated with nav bar or also with tablet nav bar. But we have to uh, allow the nav bar just later. You can also show the recent RAM bar, hold back to kill and hide the extras show menu user interface and allow 180 rotation degrees. We get the uh, 90 degrees rotation, auto rotate, rotation locate. Okay, is that working? Not completely. So why? I don't really know. Uh, maybe I have forget as previously to switch it um, on display. Brightness use custom. Use custom, I don't remember. Okay, yes, it was there. Uh, auto rotate screen, I don't know why that's not working. If you have any IG, just uh, say me why. Okay, then we get the lock screen. On lock screen, we can choose the lock screen wallpaper by the same way as previously, for example. We can also change the lock screen battery percentage. We can show it just there on the lock screen, the battery percentage just here. We get the IG initial page ins. You can also use widget carousel just there. Uh, not there. Just okay. As you can see there, this is not as previously. This is a carousel just here. Okay. Um, then we can use the volume to wake uh, the phone, volume music control on the lock screen. The lock screen targets, we can switch it with five difference, just there. We can, for example, uh, select another application, a OK P action, uh, the ring vibe, OK. We can select another one for this one, um, Nova Launcher, OK. No, not that. And I know I will select, for example, the music playlist I have recently added, OK. And when you go, we have to save it there. And when we go to the lock screen by this way, we get the, the very bright mode and the music just here. We have also the allow lock screen rotation just here, as you can see. Okay, sorry. Uh, this rotation mode for this lock screen just here with the different uh, carousel still there. We can then unlock it. Um, we have the Cronus clock settings. 
clock and alarm for example use the digital clock bold hours bold minutes uh, bold date and alarm with our panel we can just enable it display weaver update 60 minutes you can switch it to eight hours this is better use custom location display other things like that and the calendar events so let's go to show you that just here um, I have to update the weaver uh, before doing that maybe okay chronus close setting allow all widgets yes so that was what I was uh, looking for previously on the lock screen you can now okay so please you can now add uh, all the widgets as music photo gallery and power control just there and emails too and contacts also we can continue on settings with ROM control just there we get the um, power menu you can just add the show the screenshot the torch toggles this is the power menu just there then there is uh, the navigation bar just here we can enable the bar and as you can see maybe just now uh, we get the info I have asked previously um, no where it is we get flow and flow okay we get we don't get what I was waiting for that was the ROM info and others we can switch the navigation button quantity from 1 to 7 we can just press it uh, with long press we get the recent apps the kill all button we've also just scanning the different things we get there the RAM informations um, then we get also the navigation bar color that we can switch navigation bar button color navigation bar glow color uh, the different button actions and long press actions for the different buttons the navigation bar rings just there uh, target one is Google Now but I haven't installed it with VG apps uh, enable long press for nav ring the button glow animation super quick or quick the navigation bar 8 that we can switch from uh, 0 to 48 GP we have the navigation bar width also from 0 to 42 the combined bar width port as you can see just there it switch immediately we have also the combined uh, bar with land on landscape mode this is the portrait mode and landscape mode uh, this one as you can see just there and we have the nav button transparency just there from completely transparent to uh, completely brightness we can also configure the widgets just there and add different one uh, just here okay then we get the battery just there we can okay we have to go back to the navigation bar and disenable it go to the battery battery icon style we can select icon only uh, text only icon with text icon with centered text uh, we are waiting for that just wait where is the um, where is it the status bar mm -hmm. where is the status bar I have lost the status bar okay navigation bar just here enable the bar just enable it Arm control has been granted I don't know if the navigation uh, the status bar notification has just uh, disappear as you can see here I don't know why maybe this is some somewhere I have forget it I don't know why. okay so I will just enable it just to see if it works with us. So, but with icon text, we have just the center at it. We can just use the icon text. Okay, we are reaching for something like that. Okay, we see it, but not as I want. Okay, the text only. You can see that it switch. You have also the battery bar location uh, for there at the top of nav bar, just here, for example battery bar style center mirror red uh, it switch also when you switch there the excuse me navigation bar uh, portrait width you can see there the mirror center just switch this is for the battery we have also the battery uh, thickness just there we can also switch uh, the clock we can use the clock style center clock 
so just there this is just difficult to see it uh, it just disappeared but we get it also on the navigation on the status bar notification um, we have the AP PA and PM style the regular one or other clock short actions um, we have the nothing to alarms and clock options just there you can just use it there okay uh, the day of the week uh, we click that, don't show small week, regular week, just there uh, also. Then we have the clock color, the clock double click action, and clock log action. We have the signal inform, uh, signal text uh, style, we have the signal, excuse me, style. We switch the color, um, the Wi Fi signal text, but the wa direct Wi Fi is not working. Status bar toggle, we can enable the toggle and select which one you want uh, to add, for example, that, close, and we get it, uh, the different toggles, just there. We can select the toggle order, just there, just click and switch. And toggle per row, you can select from 3 to 5, for example, just there. Okay, uh, you get also the system LED information, just there, that you can switch and uh, select, you can test the LED. Okay, you can switch it for two seconds, uh, let off two seconds, test. Okay, no testing LED for default. Please turn off your screen to see the LED. Don't think okay. Okay, uh, you are done viewing the LED color. Okay, uh, you have it or not, like default app. Okay. You have also the sound information, enable volume panel, just there, less frequent notification sounds, uh, face down audio mode and others, with also the different vibrations, you can select it, uh, you can just record, for example, and stop, and you can load it, uh, SOS and others, and you can just play it and save it if needed. You also get the blue for the vibration time and the gray for non-vibration. Okay, so that was the complete review about this uh, amazing AC Jelly ROM custom. Uh, I hope you will like it because I love it and I want to share it with you. Thanks to have seen this video, that was flow.